drive is one good cell. I, uh, oh, um, I got another hate message from uh, Mormon uh, on my old video on the one that's now almost 28,000 as it's picking up speed as everybody in the Mormon church is wanting to know about the second coming. And uh, uh, he was being abusive, but he was being vague. He wasn't really getting to the point. Had no argument, no substance to his argument. And uh, I think what he was trying to say is that the uh, signs that I was pointing out in connection with the Bible are incorrect. As he was assuming that by the title of the video, that that referred to this, the uh, going back to Missouri. And uh, he, of course, does not understand that I learned about Joseph Smith's talk on 19 July 1840, which Brigham Young purposely kept out of the Doctrine and Covenants, which if you read it, you can go to the Joseph Smith Papers, uh, is, you'll, uh, you'll see exactly why Brigham Young kept it out. <laughs> uh, and so when I factored that into uh, the whole equation, I now understood uh, more about what is going on right now. Uh, but uh, the signs themselves are still, they still happened. That's what Mormons are not getting, is that the signs occurred. And one thing that I've learned is that with the tetrad that we had in 2014 and 2015, it did not follow the typical pattern for results. So, for example, in 2007, James E. Faust died. And I believe it was a month after, I think it was a month after for both of them, uh, it was within a month away, there was a total lunar eclipse. And so that was the typical pattern that I was working off of. Uh, it's simple, to the point, total lunar eclipse, Faust dies. And uh, that was just the first one that I in, ha, was able to test. And uh, it was more of a, oh, huh, isn't that interesting? What a coincidence. Then came Gordon B. Hinckley in 2008. And a total lunar eclipse within a month. And I'm saying, oh, okay, maybe not a coincidence. Maybe there's something to this. And so then the church has me disappeared for six years of my life, and we're paying the person who had me disappeared. And yes, I'm hoping the new judge will render her verdict very soon. But... Uh, When I got out in 2014, lo and behold, when I'm able to access the TV, total lunar eclipse. And I go, oh, well, okay, let's see if this still holds. See if a, an apostle of the, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints dies. Nothing happened. So I'm wondering, well, maybe some other Mormon died. Maybe it's not just apostles. Then I find out later that year, another total lunar eclipse. Oh, well, nobody informed me of this. <laughs> Didn't have a uh, well, I did have a computer by then. Uh, I still wasn't familiar with the concept of Googling. But uh, uh, 
I was thinking, oh, well, maybe there's going to be two prophets. But nothing. Okay, this is weird. I guess I have to dismiss the theory uh, that I was working with because uh, two of them, I'm giving it plus or minus two months and it's still nothing. And uh, then April General Conference, the third one. Now they're finally talking about a tetrad. I'm going, oh, come on. Why didn't you tell me that from the beginning? So on Saturday, April conference morning, I believe it was the 4th, in 2015, we had another total lunar eclipse. And wouldn't you know it, after that third total lunar eclipse, to the fourth of the total, the, the tetrad. Harry, Packer, then Scott. And Scott was close. He almost didn't make it within the, the period of time. <laughs> and, and so I was like, wow, okay, well that readjusts the whole interpretation now. Uh, for unique events, unique results occur. And so then we have total solar eclipse. And my jaw drops. My eyes get huge. And this was before the election in 2016 when I first heard about it. Because I knew exactly what it meant. And I wish I would have known before I published my book about the election results. <laughs> that would have changed everything. <clears throat> and so, thus, that video, which almost has 28,000 views, And so, uh, I'm now having to cram in a whole field of study, all on my own, because nobody knows how to teach it. Nobody knows the subject matter. So I have to do the pioneer research and decipherment, interpretation, discovery, all on my own. But I've been educated in that practice, so I'd already deciphered Paleo-Hebrew, I'd already deciphered Egyptian picture glyphs, so I got experience in it, but I still am cramming, and I uh, published a book of signs as a reference guide, it's now obsolete, it's three years old, and uh, And what I come to realize is that with the total solar eclipse that we had in 2017, there are three altogether. It's not just one solar eclipse on the 21st of August 2017. Like the Tetrad, this involves three eclipses, solar eclipses. Two were total. And they're on the outer edges, seven years apart. Those of you who know about Daniel and his timing should be going, oh, whoa. But there was one at the halfway point on Father's Day, which was the 2020, 2020 Father's Day that we just had. And that was an annular eclipse over the whole old world. The outer ones cross in America. X marks the spot. And there are two groups, just like the Book of Mormon says there are only two churches. And the one group 
was using it to uh, restore the uh, original organization and kingdom we'll call it and the other wants to destroy and rise up a new world order from the ashes and prevent the good guys from establishing their restore restoration and uh, uh, and so when you're talking about well when are the events going to happen it's already been in the process it's been this whole seven year period of time that it's been going on and in fact you can even take it right back to the conception of uh, Revelation chapter 12 the one that is born he has to be conceived and so Isaiah says virgin shall conceive and bear a child he talks of both signs uh, whereas uh, John in Revelation only talks of, of the one sign but it's understood that she would have to then also con conceive also and uh, when you factor that in then we're looking at a, an event similar to uh, the Tetrad where the three apostles died which is connected to the solar eclipse span of time uh, as uh, the first one uh, the month after was that sign in Revelation which required an additional three roving planets to join up on her crown constellation Leo and so um, I was not wrong in that video in that the signs did occur what people are jumping to the wrong conclusion with and accusing me of being false is that they assumed certain events would occur when those events are never going to occur um, they jump to the wrong conclusion and uh, as a result they're the ones who are wrong not me and, uh, but uh, in regards to the events that are to take place uh, I should have known about a coronavirus but uh, you know the locusts and sea turning to blood you know how are you going to identify which is in the fulfillment because we do have locusts swarming Africa right now uh, and uh, uh, wars are causing bleeding of the waters but uh, in regards to America being X marks the spot those events should all be occurring here in America and uh, and yeah the final one coronavirus uh, is in America as it is worse in America than anywhere else in the world and, uh, and so yeah we're not doing what Moses told the house of Israel to do and that's why we're worse off as a result um, but uh, we still have to see what is to transpire because uh, the enemy is wanting to destroy whereas we're still waiting for Pharaoh to say let my people well, you can let your people go and uh, dry contact so uh, Mormons love to hate they love to make fun of of those who are trying to warn by accusing them of making a bad name for the church because remember that video 
was when I was still good to the church. I was not pointing out all of the, the errors and wayward crimes and problems. I was not a whistleblower back then. I was still searching for the, the connection before I could make that accusation in the lawsuit. So, uh, yeah, if people are not, if Mormons are not understanding that this is it, we're in it, I can't help them. I mean, if they can't make the connection, oh, coronavirus was with Moses, Moses told them to stay home until it passed over. That's why the Jews celebrate Passover. It's just, ah, man, this is going to bug me. But, uh, just, how do you reconcile with those who uh, aren't reconcilable? Who think they're protecting the church by insulting other people? And they're doing more damage by uh, their abusive behavior.